hello welcome to my youtube channel skill forum so in this video we will learn creation of vpc creation of subnet and creation of internet gateway and creation of a root table okay and we will learn how to create a root table to connect internet in our uh, machine okay so once we create all this then we will create a ec2 instance and we will connect to our server and we will check whether the internet will act, uh, can be accessed or not okay so let's start here click on your vpc on the vpc we are going to create subnet subnet is in, is nothing but it's a uh, segment of uh, large internet already i told you suppose if you have a uh, internet connection so you can divide uh, those internet connection into number of segments okay so usually uh, most of us we, we have uh, internet connection right so the internet service provider will be having a larger network so in that larger network they are going to divide the segment so in that segment we will get the internet access okay so here click on create vpc give the vpc name i will give apex vpc come down so here it should be default it should be no uh, IPv6 CADR block. Here you need to give your uh, VPC, uh, this one IPv4 uh, CADR. Okay, so this is the internet protocol. So 10.0.0.0 forward slash 16. So this uh, IP address is for uh, uh, subnet. Then come down, click on create VPC. So now we have created VPC. So next step is we need to create the subnet. This VPC is our service provider. In that I am dividing this subnet. So go to subnet. So here click on create subnet. Select the VPC under which VPC you have to create a subnet. So this is our uh, IPv4 CADR. Okay, this is classless internet route. Okay. So fine, come down here. We have to give a subnet name. I will give Apex subnet. Then availability zone. If you want to select any specific availability zone, you can select it or else you just give no preferences. So AWS account will select the uh, default uh, availability zone in this. Next here we have uh, CADR block. So here we have given CADR number to VPC that is 10.0.0.0 forward slash 16. In here, same we need to give, but instead of 16, we need to give 24. Okay, fine. Just create it. See, so once you create, so check it, you have. Then we need to create internet gateway. So what is the use of Internet Gateway? So we are going to provide. We are we are going to give way to the subnet to access to the Internet where it is just like a gate where we can access the Internet. Hmm? So click on Internet Gateway. So here default gateway is there. Don't worry about that. We need to create our own. So here you can give Apex Internet Internet Gateway IGW. Come down and click on Create. So this internet gateway we need to attach to our VPC, right? See, still it is in detached mode. What I have to do to go to internet gateway and select Apex IGW internet gateway. Here you need to attach it. Okay, one attach to VPC. So here you need to select the VPC which you have created and click on attach gateway. See, now it is attached. Okay, all of you are getting the applications of this. Why we are going to create subnet? Why we are going to create internet gateway? So you can watch uh, the uh, theoretical video so that you can have a better understanding. Hmm? See here, internet gateway is there. Mm, this uh, VPC we have created under this VPC one subnet we have created under the subnet we have created internet gateway. Now we need to give root access table, a root table. So how to do this? Click on root table. So click on create new root table. Here you can give a root table, affix root. Okay. You can give any name. Here you select VPC, come down and just create it. 
So once you create it, you have to associate this with VPC. That is very important. So the, the follow this step. OK, so all these steps you are going to use in the further sessions of VPC. So select it, come down, select Apex root. Here we have subnet association. Click on edit subnet association. Then click on Apex subnet. See here you just click on save association. It will associate with our VPC so that we can give a root here. So again, select the Apex root. Then you need to define the root. OK, so as you can see here in this. Structure, so we are creating this root table. So this is this is the VPC CADR number that we need to provide local. OK, this is Internet uh, IP address. So this you need to assign it for Internet Gateway. Once we give this root table, then only we can uh, then only in the subnet or in VPC we can access the Internet. OK, so what we'll do select it and click on edit root. So here add rule here you can give 0.0.0.0. .0 here we have forward slash zero. Here you can give I Internet Gateway. If you click here, whatever the Internet Gateways you have created, you will get it. That's all. Save. Got it. So now we have created everything. Now we need to create our instance. OK, so for that, go to services and click on EC2. And then go to instances here. Click on launch instances. Here you can give Apex virtual machine. OK, so then you can select Windows, but before that you just uh, uh, make sure that it should be free type. So here also we have free type. So keep a uh, instance type is also a free type T2 micro. You need to select it. OK. So then key pair we need to select if, if you have existing key pair, you can select it or else just click on new key pair. I will give Apex VPC key pair. OK, press enter. So click on create. It will download. It will download the. Key pair. So once you create the key pair here is the main thing you need to focus. Whatever we have created VPC now here you are going to manage okay click on edit in this networking setting so here under this vpc you have to select your vpc here we have apex vpc then subnet defaultly we have one only it is showing one so defaultly it will select if it is one then here so assign public ip if you want to maintain it as a private you have to select disable but as of now we want to enable this publicly right okay so that part we will discuss in the next next session Okay, if you disable means what will happen that we need to maintain it for uh, private uh, VPC. OK, so if you want to create your security group, you can create it. OK, so or else you can use your own. I will give Apex. Security. Group. OK, then come down. So here RDP and it should be anywhere and click on launch instance. So here successfully it has been launched. Come down and click on view all instances. It will take a few minutes to uh, update. OK. So here status check should be two cross uh, two slash two. We will wait. So it will take few minutes uh, to launch. So once. See here we can verify. So our public IP is there, private IP is there. OK, our security group is also there. See VPC is there. This is Apex VPC. See auto assigned IP. IP has been automatically it will assign. So. So subnet is there, AMI is there, Windows platform is Windows. OK, everything you can check it here. First. So now what you need to do click on this virtual machine and here you need to sorry you need to click on connect go to RDP. 
So here download remote desktop. See Apex virtual machine RDP has been downloaded. Now what do you have to do? You need to click on get password. Then we need to upload our private key what we had downloaded PEM file. See here we have. OK, then decrypt this so you will get the password here. So it's it is recommended to save the password in notepad so that if you want to use it in the further use, you can use it or else not an issue. So go here in the downloads, click on this Apex VM RDP. Once you click on this, we we'll connect. See it is connecting. Yeah, you just paste the password and give OK. See, give S. And see here we have launched our uh, Windows virtual machine. And we have uh, created our own VPC and Internet Gateway also we have created. So let us check uh, whether the Internet is working or not in this uh, virtual machine. OK, so because we have created our VPC as well as we have connected to our Internet Gateway also. OK, how to check? Internet is working or not in virtual machine. You can directly go to here uh, Internet option or else you can ping it. Yeah, see here, so you give yes. See here, if you check here, so it is showing internet access, right? If you want to check, press Windows button and R. So you will get like this. Windows button in the keyboard plus R. Just give CMD. Once you give CMD, so you will get this uh, CMD option. So you have to give PING space 8, sorry, 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Press it. It has to replay. You will get replay like this. If you are not getting replay like this, means internet has not been connected. Okay. So this is how you can create a VPC. So if you want to close this, you just close this. If you want to minimize it, you can minimize it. Okay. So once you have done with this practice and all, so don't forget to delete your instance VPC and all, or else bill will generate. 